Hi everybody and today we're going to look at the the optics only uh, the optical performance of the Celestron Skymaster ED Pro binoculars. We'll come on to the the handling and the build quality in another video and uh, as there's quite a lot to get through and uh, when that's available I, I will link to at the end of this video. And so what do we have here? We have a 50mm objective lens pair of uh, ED glass oversized BAK4 prisms that allow a lot of light to come through uh, nitrogen gas filled and the result of, of, of the, those optics and that wide 7mm exit pupil well 7.1 to be exact is an extremely bright image almost overpowering on a bright sunny day uh, not so it's a problem but yeah extreme bright image if and uh, although, as I mentioned in a previous video, you can actually tone that down now by putting a pair of polarising filters in, which are like putting on sunglasses to bring out a lot more detail. But can you use this for bird watching? Well, these for bird watching, because you might think they are just for astronomy only. Well, well, we'll start with the astronomy side of things because, well, anybody that knows where I live, it's a very, very heavily light polluted area uh, which easily lock, knocks a couple of you know about, about two magnitudes off star brightness so I'm very limited where I live uh, uh, as to what I can see uh, uh, regards very faint objects but with these despite the orange sky glow in, in the sky and again you can buy filters to uh, 1.25 inch filters to screw into the eyepiece that can reduce that orange sky glow I could get Del the constellation Delphinus Delphinus or all in one view as I could uh, Sagitta. The coat hanger star cluster looked amazing. Uh, M15 in Pegasus, M34 the open cluster in Perseus and the double cluster in Perseus very very easy to find and very crisp in the view. The, the double star Omicron Cygnus and various rich field star clusters in the Cygnus and Cassiopeia Perseus uh, uh, area and this was all in the space of a couple of minutes it was just a few of my, my favorite easy to find objects but if you are struggling to find things in the night sky and you've got a telescope with a red dot finder a set of quality binoculars like this will will easily help you locate where things are and so you know where to point that red dot so uh, excellent absolutely stunning for uh, astronomical work and as I will come on to uh, with the daylight viewing, the, there is remarkably low levels of chromatic aberration with these, and so you, and so you should get nice true star star um, colours coming through. And when you look at the moon, although it's not high power, you, you, you shouldn't see any of that annoying blue and purple colour fringing around the edges. Uh, close focus on these is I think around about five or six meters, but that that's not what these are about. So. For testing it on a, a nice uh, bright day, as I mentioned at the start of the video, an absolutely glorious bright image. And also with these you get a 7.8 degrees field of view. And you, you do find with some 7 times 50 binoculars, for whatever reason, they don't seem to have a, as wide an angle. So that uh, makes them you know, very, very user friendly. Uh, uh, I say use a friend light if you don't mind the one the uh, 1255 uh, gram weight uh, but I'll come on to that in, a, in another video and so with with these I know with a lot of binoculars the you have that sweet spot as it was we call it of 10 15 20 30 uh, percent in the center of view with these I would say the sweet spot is 40 50 percent easy where the image is absolutely amazing uh, where there is virtually no chromatic aberration whatsoever, only towards the outer 10-20%. But with these, I was actually looking at a gull. It was on the top of a lamp post, and so we got a white gull, and it's quite a stormy background uh, with 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 the the clouds, and so it was very, you know, a, a, a large um, difference in brightness and high contrast subject, and the the, the bird, the gull, was. As the saying goes, tech sharp. It was absolutely incredible how it stood out 
from the background sky with zero, I mean absolutely zero chromatic aberration. So can these be used for bird watching? Uh, yes, if you're okay with the slightly heavier than average weight for a 50mm set, yes. Um, they're, they're not flat field binoculars so there is a little bit of fall off towards the end, uh, towards the edge. Not that you're really going to notice because that centre 50% of view is just going to absolutely blow you away with these. And so, uh, uh, yeah, just quick, a quick check of uh, pin cushion distortion. Hardly any at all. There is just a minor bit, but most people are not going to notice it. And so, yeah, just summing up, very, very solid uh, set of binoculars. Ideal for wide field astronomy, and uh, I would imagine very, very good uh, if you like looking at comets as well. And I'm, I'm guessing I'll have to try these from a dark sky location because I would imagine the results are going to be absolutely stunning uh, with rich field star clusters. So yeah, perfect for astronomy. Uh, ideal uh, for bird watching as well. Again, just to repeat, if you don't you know the take into account these these are well over a kilogram in weight uh, to me I, I, I found that not a problem but I'll go into that in more detail with another, another video and uh, I, I guess uh, with the optics you can actually uh, in, with the ease of use uh, I you know despite the weight I, I found them very very easy to hold steady as you do with 7x50 binoculars of, of uh, or, or any lower powered set of binoculars. So anyway, that's a quick look at the Celestron Skymaster Pro ED 7x50. Absolutely stunning optics, in, in, in my opinion. Uh, trying to pick a fault uh, or any minor gripe with the optics. And in this price range, I cannot. I can't. I can't I'm just thinking as, as I'm talking out if there's a, any slight issues there's no internal reflection pin sharp optics uh, very large sweet spot virtually no chromatic aberration ticks all round and so thank you very much for watching as always if you haven't done so already give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button link to purchase in the description which obviously you are supporting our channel by doing so which I know a number of you have so thank you again and I shall See you next time.